it is wednesday may 24th and i haven't done this in a while where i just vlog to vlog but i think these vlogs are just as important as all the events that i go to because i think it's important to keep it real and today i just feel really down because for one i'm just really tired <laughs> and i think anyone who would have done what i've done in the past three days would be really tired but like i'm now <laughs> i don't get tired doing the things that I love to do. So Friday was Influence on TL. Saturday I did a talk for young girls at Beauty and Beast. Sunday I went to a wedding. And then since then I've just been really exhausted. Oh yeah, and then I did interviews for the Nally show. And then I'm just trying to keep up with my ambitions. And I know everyone keeps telling me to rest, but I really enjoy doing these things and it keeps me going. But of course I get tired, but I think it's a mix of me being tired and me being really anxious for um, tomorrow because tomorrow is when I get to sit with my oncologist and ask a bunch of questions that um, remain unknown to me. So for one, I get to see the results of my CT scan. I know they're going to be good, but how good is the question because I really don't want to do chemo again and there's still a little chance that I may have to do another treatment. Last time I saw him he was like maybe one or two and then I said but you said just one and then he said okay but he didn't seem too sure. And then yesterday the chemo receptionist called me in to, to confirm my 2pm appointment for Friday's chemo but then I was like it's not sure for sure yet and then she's like well you know we'll wait to see tomorrow um with what your oncologist will say but it's reserved for you but i don't want that reserved for me i just want to not have to do chemo anymore because i'm so tired and i don't want to be sick anymore and there's just so much i want to do and i get really jealous i was so jealous when i saw everyone dancing on the dance floor at my friend's wedding and they were having so much fun and I danced a bit but I was so tired <laughs> I got a crazy headache, I couldn't breathe, like I couldn't even dance like that's the worst thing to me, not being able to just have fun and enjoy the moment and dance cause I was exhausted and that frustrates me and I'm still really exhausted. It's Wednesday and I just like couldn't even wake up this morning and there's so much there's so much I wanna get done, but I know I need to rest. My girl Marie messaged me this morning and then <laughs> she knew something was wrong because she's like, How are you? And I'm like, I'm okay. I told her how I felt because I think it's important to be honest and I said exactly what I what I just said to you now, I told her and then she wrote me this long thing and then she's like, remember what you always say to everyone, be patient and be kind to yourself. And it's true, I need to learn to be patient and I need to learn to rest. <laughs> Whatever happens tomorrow, no matter what the results are, I know that I need to get over this little last hump, even if it means an extra cheap treatment, which I really, really, really hope it doesn't mean that just finish this fight so that so that I have the rest of my life to do all these things I want to do and dance dance the night away on my wedding day right so that's my little confession <laughs> just really hard cuz it's like it's always like this at the end you know it's like a a 5k run i always say it like that you know when you reach four kilometers and you're so tired but you're almost there and you have to mentally tell yourself not to give up uh this is my 4k right now so i'm gonna keep on going but i want to let you know yeah <laughs> it gets frustrating and it gets fucking tough <laughs> so i'll keep you posted on the results tomorrow we are leaving the jewish general hospital what? And are you ready? What? You ready? <laughs> Scream it! What? We got good news. No more chemo! <laughs> no more chemo, guys. And we saw my CT scan here. Check it out. I'll show you right there. It's practically clear. Practically clear. There's a bit of spots left. But um, I am moving on to the next chapter, guys. 
and that is hormonal therapy. I'm like a little too excited to give you the details of what hormonal therapy is. So what I'm gonna do is go eat because my stomach is empty. But no more Kima! I can't breathe. <laughs> How do you feel? Amazing. I know like chemo is a, you hated it. So. so that means my hair is gonna grow back. That's it. Well, what? Okay, I'll give you the deets when I'm a little bit more calm and a little less out of breath. But all you need to know is we're done the first chapter. Which 